Y en ese equilibrio vamos a encontrar esa armonía que nos, nos da como el número 6. El número 6 es un color que tiene, que es como un eh, círculo que nos lleva hacia un, eh, una especie de circunferencia, a una especie de... Eh, Pick a color. Using the relationship between similar colors as a visual anchor is a useful technique to engage the viewer and to keep them looking at an image for longer. This is a really simple assignment designed to make you think about the colors you see and to develop your powers of observation. Look for a number of elements in a scene that all have the same dominant color. It's the best if you choose an obvious color such as orange, red or bright blue and create a series of shots. The best way to approach this initially is to let it happen naturally. Just wait until you come across one bold instance of your chosen color and then look around to find something else in the scene with the same color. They can be close together or some way apart. But if there is any distance between them, make sure it is not too busy. If you are wondering whether you can move an object either by introducing it into the frame or by repositioning it, this is an issue that has always troubled street photographers and there is no right or wrong answer. Purists would say that you should never change a scene in front of you because it takes away the authenticity of a street image, but others would argue that you can do whatever you need to make a better picture. You decide. If you're shooting raw, in post-production, you can play a little bit with color channels, increase the saturation, increase the vibrancy to make your chosen color pop. But be careful, because you might end up with a very unrealistic image in the end if you overdo it. Think about the background. The more monotone or less cluttered the background is, the better this technique will work and more successful you'll be in this challenge. And finally, don't restrict yourself in just two instances of the color. The more, the merrier, I say. What are my final thoughts? My conclusion? Well, I have to say, it wasn't a hard challenge if you determined and you follow it through like you're supposed to. When I would see something that had a vibrant color, I would just sit or stand and wait until 
similar or the same color appeared in my vision. Sometimes if I saw a person with an interesting color, I would just follow a person, which sounds a bit creepy, but if you are not a creep, then it's not creepy. Nobody will mind if they don't notice you. <laughs> so, so my thoughts are, it's a simple challenge, it's basic pattern recognition. It is similar to the first challenge I made where I had to look for interesting looking signs. So that was a similar thing, but this was even easier because all around us are colors. So it's very easy to pick up on something that, that's interesting. But all in all, I love this challenge and I'd recommend you doing it too. And I'm really interested in seeing you guys share the results. So let's connect. Uh, follow me on Instagram uh, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. <laughs>